unsalted sweet cream butt. Yeah, it's just butter. Hi everyone, it's Pamela. So this week I thought it would be fun to cook something. So I was thinking about what I could make. I was thinking maybe meatloaf or something because that's super common. Like who hasn't had meatloaf at some point that isn't a vegetarian or a vegan. But then I was thinking I should probably try something a little bit more interesting. So I thought I could make a Czech dish. So I will be making schnitzel with potatoes and cucumber salad, which is um, řízky um, s bramborama a okurkový salat. So that'll be fun. I think it's more accurate to call it cucumber lemonade, but we'll just stick with calling it cucumber salad. Um, there's a few different variations with it, but I'll just be making the one that um, we always make in my family. Schnitzel is also popular. It's not only a Czech dish, but it's also popular in Germany. And like here we have the fast food um, stores that are called like Wiener Schnitzel. Um, yeah, that's not schnitzel at all. Those are hot dogs. Not sure where that name came from. I think that I'm gonna start off with the cucumber salad, salad first because that's the easiest part of this meal. And also then you can refrigerate it so that it's like nice and cool later and it'll complement the rest of like the hot food well. And also it's summer, so it'll be like refreshing to have a nice cool cucumber salad to go with it. So got my cucumber. So make sure it's like a nice fresh firm cucumber. You need to peel it first. I'll just do it above the sink. Also, I cut off the ends because those tend to be bitter. You get a grater. Um, you can either do like the fine ones or like the bigger one. Um, I'm gonna use these, the top one, um, because I feel like if you use like the smaller like grater, it gets like a little bit too mushy. Because I think that's already mushy enough. <laughs> Looks like that. Okay, now we need a pinch of salt. Just gonna go like, go over. okay. And then pepper. Okay. And then we need a tablespoon of sugar. You can either do regular or I'm gonna do brown sugar. And then you need a lemon. This is actually from our garden. Okay, so short story, we used to have lemon trees, but then there was a slight property dispute with our lovely neighbors. I've lived in this house my whole entire life. This is our family house. And those neighbors have just lived here the past five years. And long story short, they chopped down most of our lemon trees mercilessly. And my family uses a lot of lemon, so that's but that's over. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but yeah. I'm gonna wash this. You don't wanna get seeds into your um, cucumber lemonade slash salad. All right. So I guess you can start to see like why I call it cucumber lemonade, but yeah, cucumber salad. You could just squeeze it in there. And then of course, water. I think I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of like arrowhead. mix it all up. Um, some people also use like vinegar. Like I said before, there's like a few different variations of this cucumber salad. Some even maybe put like cream in it or oil, just like different variations. But this is it for like what my family is used to doing. I'm just gonna taste a little bit of it. It's a little bit bland. I think I'm gonna put a hair more of the sugar in it. I think that's good. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this in the fridge to let it like cool while I make the rest of the meal. The cucumber salad is in the fridge. So next I think I'm gonna work on the potatoes cause those take a long time to cook. All right, so get your bag of pressed potatoes. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take out like four nice ones. I'm gonna wash them and cut them probably in like fourths or something. I'm just gonna go peel them um, over the sink. If there are any little like brown spots, just like cut them out. So I have my potatoes. 
So now we're gonna cut them up. All right. I'm trying to make them similar sized, a little bit less than a quarter, kind of like this. I think I'm done cutting them. So now we need to get water in our pot. Putting them in cool water. I'm gonna add to the water these cumin seeds and maybe like a pinch of salt too. All right, so the potatoes are cooking and I'm gonna check back on that in a little while to make sure I'm gonna like poke them to make sure that they're nice and soft. Word of advice, do not leave wooden spoons by the stove. All right, now finally, let's get into the schnitzel part, right? First, we need to prep the coating, flour, that's going to go into bowl number one, and then eggs, that's going to go into bowl number two, and then the breadcrumbs, which are going to go into bowl number three. We need our grater again, so I'm just going to grate this to get breadcrumbs. Um, you can just get like a baguette in any store and then let it sit so that it hardens, so then you can like grate it, or um, I think you can also just buy some like shake and bakes for like already prepped um, coatings. This one is seasoned though, but yeah. I'm just gonna try to make some um, of my own breading. Make sure it's hard. Like everything else in this video, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna use the fine grater. So as you can see, um, this is gonna take a while to get enough of it. This is after like 10 minutes. This is something that you would probably want to have already in advance, you know, like already like in your cupboard ready to go because this really does take a long time and my arms are already starting to hurt. So this shake and bake comes in handy if you don't wanna go through all this. But why I like to make this, because I make it really fine, and then I like the texture of the schnitzel. This, um, it's a little bit like sharp. I think that's enough. I've been grating for like 25 minutes, and yeah, I'm tired of that, so that'll be good for that. I'm also, gonna go over it like this all right so looks like that so we're done with the um breadcrumbs and now we're gonna move on to the eggs i'm gonna get three eggs be careful not to get any eggshells in it and we're gonna whisk it. This meal seems to be quite the workout for the arms at least. And now the flour. The potatoes are done. Wow. The cumin seeds make it smell good. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lid over it to try to keep it warm. Got the flour. Alright, finally, now we got our three bowls. So remember, number one, flour, and then you put it in the egg, and then the breadcrumbs. Now we have our meat here. So this is boneless pork loin chops. All right, I'm gonna wash these. First, um, we're gonna trim off the fat. Get like a long, like, um, pointy knife for that. Now that you've trimmed the fat off your pork chops, now we're gonna um, pound it down a little bit to make it thinner. And yeah, this is kind of the fun part so you can let out all your anger and frustrations and be careful, don't uh, whack your fingers. And be sure to do both sides. When I embarked on 
this, I didn't realize how much of an upper body arm <laughs> workout this meal is. So they're all done. So now I'm gonna salt and pepper it a little bit and then we're gonna run it through the assembly line. but now look at my fingers ah <laughs> i could fry those too but don't i found it pretty useful to tidy up as i went along so the mess doesn't get too out of hand and i like the extra virgin olive oil like that. let's get it nice and hot and then as soon as it warms up we'll turn down the heat as we're um cooking the schnitzel. All right, the scary part actually cooking it. I'm gonna turn down the heat. And then I poke it with a fork and lift it up to see when it gets golden brown. And then it'll be time to flip them. So now you need to clean this in between the uh, schnitzels. I almost spilled that. Um, yeah, and you can't um, pour it straight down the drain because it'll clog all your pipes. So I'm just gonna like pour it in this like ceramic thing, the excess oil. And if you're washing your pan in between, make sure you get it really dry because then the water and the oil, that will make it like spray um, more. <laughs> Voila. So yeah, this is the finished product. This is schnitzel with potatoes and cucumber salad, zizek, zbramborama, okurkubi salad. Um, I could have put maybe a little bit of garnish on the potatoes to make it look a little bit better, but yeah, I don't have any of that around the house, any parsley or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna go give my mom this first. So let's see if she likes it. I hope she does. Mama, I made dinner. So now I should go taste my own food, but I'm gonna make a little a little setup for you guys. So I'm gonna go set that up and I'll be right back. Ta-da! It took quite a while. It was pretty tiring. Like my whole body hurts and this wasn't an exercise video. This was a cooking video. Maybe I should also make an exercise video. But anyways, come have dinner with me. Bon appetit. I'm just checking if it's cooked. All right, let's taste it. It's good. I also haven't eaten all day, so it tastes good. <laughs> and to wash it down, Czech people would probably go for a beer. I was surprised. I thought that Germans were the number one consumers of beer, but it turns out that Czech people are the number one consumers of beer. Cheers. Yeah, but you can have like anything with this, anything that you prefer. It's pretty decent. I can cook, or at least I can cook this dish. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and maybe you can go and try to make this yourself too. If you liked this video, like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye.